Hello, my sisters and brothers in Christ. I want to come to y'all with a quick little message, a word of encouragement for those of you who may feel overwhelmed, for those of you who may feel like you're just going through so much sometimes where everybody's just pulling you um, one arm to the next, just, you know, just tugging at you like a tug of war. Um, that was me. That's me. And um, I know that my ministry is for people that go through things just like me. And God says, whatever I put on your mind and your heart, you go and tell your sisters and brothers because it may help them and it may encourage them. So first, y'all, you know that I like to pray and start off all of my messages with a prayer because I need Jesus at all times. I need God. So let's bow our heads and um, show some respect to our Father. Father God in heaven, I come to you today in Jesus name and I ask that you lead me by your Holy Spirit Lord and you whenever I'm going through something you always kind of put in my mind to whom much is given much is expected so I feel like it's time for me to encourage my sisters and brothers and let them know that to whom much is given much is really expected so I ask that you uh, cover this video I ask that your Holy Spirit speaks directly to your children and um that we can all get in alignment with you and uh become one as you would like for us to be in jesus name amen so okay you guys you know i like i'm a storyteller too um as i was in my car and um i was yesterday i, I just feel over I, lately i've been feeling really overwhelmed and um i do listen to a lot of other pro prophets but sometimes god is telling me hey you got it yourself and i i kind of pull back some i may listen to because they might prophesize with like visions or dreams or in a different part but pretty much for the most part if i can read the bible and read that and understand it i normally uh through the holy spirit can pretty much uh discern what is being said and i, I understand it but um, it kept coming in my head, to whom much is given, uh, much is expected. And sometimes I receive blessings and I know that I have to um, help other people. I know that I have to reach out to other people. And sometimes I don't mind it, but by me being uh, married and by me do having kids and then I have a daughter that, that has, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me that has autism it can be a bit much you know then i'm a primary driver for you know my mom and my grandmother you know so i just have a lot going on and then whenever people may need to speak or just need an encouraging word they, they come around me you know and um I, I i try to speak life in them in them and just tell them what thus said the lord always a word from you know from the lord you know even when i was not always in god I always was like I had like godly ways and godly advice and I would never just really a wild woman or just tell you like anything crazy so people have always kind of been drawn to me and I, I, I receive it and I accept what God you know how he uses me but for someone that doesn't I just want to let you know to whom much is given much is expected so you know we ask God to use us in these mighty ways and then once he uses us we started to feel exhausted and overwhelmed but this is what we asked for you know this is what we asked for so he wouldn't put any he wouldn't put a lot on us that we couldn't take or that you know he wouldn't put much on us that we couldn't bear as they say so i just wanted to come here today and just encourage my sisters and brothers and let you know that god love you and everything that you do we just got to find out with me i want to find out a way to serve you know in a healthy way and designate you know certain time to certain people you know within my jurisdiction you know you know where it's not just overwhelming me because yesterday i got really really burnt out and i just felt exhausted like i was just trying to be mother Teresa, you know <laughs> and i'm silly too i'm a silly christian as well and i have tons of personality um so you're going to get to see that but I was like, you know, I just feel like I was just doing everything. Like one of our girl I prayed for her, she said that she had been working like a Hebrew slave. <laughs> and I just thought that was funny. But um, because she's like, she's just working so many jobs and just doing so much. And uh, sometimes you can be just pulled so many ways. 
and uh, like I like to walk I like to uh, go and check on people I be wanting to feed the homeless I just have so many bright ideas and I be wanting to get my Bible time in because I feel like when I get in the Bible that's God speaking directly to me uh, through his word so I love to get into that but so many distractions come in to where it's like I can't hardly designate the time to those things so I just wanted to let you know that you know we just have to be firm with ourselves and we have to just stick to the things that we know that we need to be doing and just make sure that we get everything done um, for God and we're doing the godly things first I would recommend each person in the, in the mornings because like I get all my thoughts at night sometimes and throughout the day but I don't make my recordings to in the morning when I'm like fresh so that's why my voice may be a certain way in the morning because it's like seven maybe eight o'clock in the morning and I'm ready you know I'm ready to give what the Lord has given me to you all and like he always told me that my ministry was going to be simply from my ministry was going to be simply from um me my life what i was living what i would go through and he always told me that to share with you all whatever i go through whatever my experiences are don't be afraid to to share it with my sisters and brothers never be shy and never be ashamed because we are all into in a sanctification process through the blood of jesus so we all you know are going through something and some with some stories are worse than others so i like to share but um I sure did. I was just riding around. And I was like, man, people are always calling me and, you know, they always need me. And I want to come. I want to be there for everyone. But I'm only one person. So sometimes it bothers me. Uh, but every time it bothers me, I say this to myself and you can say this to yourself. To whom much is given, much is expected. God wouldn't put all that on you if he didn't know you could handle it. Like he told me, I thought that I was just going to be saying stuff out the Bible that I understood. But he was like, man, not man. <laughs> he was like, uh, daughter, you have so much in you that you have learned from me that you can share that someone could, could relate to. So he was like, do not, you know not offer them or don't don't open up do not restrain yourself from opening up to people because you feel like they're going to judge you because of your story because i'm the only judge and that's what i'm telling you god is your only judge so therefore if it's something that's going to help uplift your sister and your brother you tell your sister and your brother because we may need to hear that in the name of jesus we may need to hear that so i uh i like to just you know just tell y'all i love y'all and that things do get better everything will work out for the for the uh glory of god everything will work out and don't you worry at all about sharing your story or your or your testimony don't you worry about that you just go ahead on and you do whatever be obedient be obedient to god and speaking of obedience i tell you another little story yesterday something that happened to me i was in walmart and I had really just was in the flesh. I was because I gotta be honest because God seen me, so I cannot lie to you all. This is a really this is a truth based truth based ministry. So I have to be completely honest because the father knows. I um I went kinda off. I was like all the way in little field with just the, the words that I were using. I, I wasn't cussing, but I was very angry. I was very, very angry. And I know that God doesn't like us to get that angry. And that is foolish, you know, to get so upset. But I got very upset. So I went into the store. I was in Walmart. And I went into the store. And it was time for me to check out. So, you know, uh, a lady behind me or whatever. And she's ready to put her stuff up there. You know, as, as, as they are. And she's ready to put her stuff up there. So I'm looking at the cashier. And I see that the lady, she's putting her grits or something. Very close to where my stuff is. is. And there's no, there's no bar to separate her food from my food so you know she 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 says it as if she pushed it back she's like well i thought i gave enough room but she did it really it pretty much looked like whatever she had was for me to pay for it too like it went with my order so the girl um happened to ring it up but you know in the spirit even though i was like kind of pissed off a little bit or i was upset i was angry in the spirit i knew that I had to let it play out. I could have told the cashier, ma'am, that's not my grits. You know, my stuff stopped behind the juice. Like, you know, just stop right there, ma'am. I could have said that, but I didn't. I chose to let God be God and just use me. 
you know, I just chose to let God be God and just use me. So, after that, you know, I, I was a little mad or whatever, but I wanted to have an attitude because, mind you, I was just in the flesh and I just was in the car, me and my husband, you know, having our little words and I'm going in, you know, I'm going in. So, um, I was really in the flesh, even in the, as I'm shopping, but I yield to the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I yield to the spirit and I, um, I went ahead on and I, I allowed you know myself to be a blessing to her and she was one of those type of women that you know you knew she had enough money for her stuff i would think it looked as if she maybe didn't but if she picked it up she maybe didn't but she put it close to my stuff almost like it was a test to see if i was gonna pay for it or if i was gonna say something because she did not leave no room like she was claiming that she left room like she didn't leave enough room for the lady to know that it wasn't her my you know my her it was my stuff like it was not it was like it was right behind my stuff and it kind of upset me a little bit you know but i just had to yield to the spirit and let god be god so i'm just you know and then guess what after that i told her i said well no you go ahead on i said i'm gonna pay for it i told the cashier i'm gonna pay for it but you go ahead and you wrap that up and that that's hers that's what this lady i just bought it for her give it to her and um the lady said thank you and i said well i feel like in my spirit you know, but it was almost like she was kind of like a little, you know, like I said, a little bougie, a little uppity kind of, you know, young woman or whatever. But so it kind of had me with an attitude. I was like, if I'm going to help somebody, it's certain people that I look to help. And I learned that about myself. So I kind of characterize people too. And uh, Lord, I'm going to pray for myself in that area. But um, so I felt like I really didn't have to give it, you know, really do that. And I didn't really want to, but I did it. And uh, as I told her, I said, well, in the spirit, I feel like I should have done it. And she said, and you were obedient. She said, you were obedient. So I said, okay. You know, and I took that. And when she said I was obedient, I knew at that very moment that I was dealing with someone that, you know, what could have been used by God. You know, you know, you know, it could have been a thing, a setup, you know, for God to just see what I would do, you know, and, you know, and how I would yield to him. And she said I was obedient and that made me feel good because it was like God was telling her to say that she was obedient. She might not wanted to do it, but she did it. I didn't tell her to take it off. I could say, hey, void that off. Like we always say, but I didn't do that. I just let it be what it was. I let God be God. So when you're out and you're being pulled left and right, and, you know, you don't know what to do, you know, just know that God got you. And let God be God. He wouldn't put so much on you if you couldn't do it. He wouldn't have allowed me to um, do all the things that I've done. If I couldn't do them, he wouldn't allow me to even do this for that lady because he know that in my flesh, I didn't want to. You know, I had a whole attitude being honest because I'm human, but I, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I really kind of didn't want to, but in the spirit, I feel like I had to and I should. So I let the spirit just take over and I did what the spirit requ required of me. So um, that's what I would, I, I pray for you guys to just let the spirit take over and i'll lead you and when you do that some phenomenal things you know will happen and god can use you in some mighty ways like seriously so um i love y'all jesus love y'all he died on the cross you know nobody you know nobody in this world finna die for you period <laughs> at all so to be in a who you know to it just like sometimes i just tell god it's a, a pleasure it's a um a privilege and it's just another word that I use all the time um when it comes down to just me being a part of the kingdom and being one of God's chosen. You know, it's just it's an honor, you know, to just be able to be used like this. And I just I, I thank him for it. And I and I thank him for using you all and I thank him for sending each person that listens to one of my videos. I ask that you just you look at God and you look at life in a whole different aspect. And know that he is real and that he can do anything that he wants. You know, don't limit him, period. Because limiting him is like limiting yourself. You know, so don't do that. But I love you guys. Y'all stay blessed. Stay prayed up. Be led by the Spirit in all that you do. And um, I'll be back with more and more videos. This is nonstop. You know, uh, now that I know that he wants me to encourage, uh, teach preach uh give advice just everything that he want me to do is going to be more videos because now i'm talking 
from that like now it's getting real you know what i'm saying it's getting real real like it's been real but now i'm tapping into that i am more than just one thing and that i do so much and then i encourage people out and every time i have to say something nice to somebody the holy spirit just comes over me and i get like chills you know like i just begin to tingle so that's what i'm here for to whom much is given much is expected stand on that whenever you feel stressed out just know that you made for this you are equipped you was built to do all that you do and if you get tired take you a little break go take you a little nap get you some rest in but know that you got it you got this you know you got this and it, and it, it just like the chill just came over me when i just told y'all you got this every time i i uplift someone i'm uplifting myself you know it's like god said that's what i'm talking about and um and that's what i'm here for so i love y'all you know share subscribe whatever you need to do you know but just you know you know let's stick to let's stick with god together no weapon formed against thee shall prosper amen